guys and gals, and welcome back to the channel. Something I've been aching to talk about, and since I've decided to briefly resuscitate this channel, I feel entitled to share my opinion on, is this Rolex Certified Pre-Owned Program, which to me is, uh, <laughs> it's quite interesting. So this is an opinion piece. I'm gonna share my personal opinion. There is no sponsorship. I have no ulterior motive other than to share my own personal opinion. But here's the deal. I get asked a lot, and I've seen a lot of people looking into this program about, is there a real sense of value to it? Is there merit in purchasing something directly certified pre-owned from Rolex, or let's be more real, one of their approved dealers, than just buying a pre-owned watch on the secondhand market? I'm going to, as I always do, give you my complete unfiltered opinion. And if you're looking for uh, lifestyle advice or information how Rolexes are gonna fix your dating life or your, your balding head, not the video nor the channel for you. But if you want my real world, no BS take on what I think about this program, other things watching life related, well, stick around. My short answer for those of you that have complete impatience and don't want to wait around is I think the program is a terrible, terrible, terrible value. And I will, by the end of this video, if you stick with me, explain how you can get all of these same watches for a massive, massive discount. So rather than me bicker about why I really feel this way, how about we just look at some real world examples of some real world Rolexes that you can go buy right now from their certified pre-owned program. So let's go look at victim number one. One of my favorite watches, although that does not make me unique whatsoever. I know this is one of the most popular models that people lust after in the Rolex range. Although a lot of people will say they wish this one was stainless and not two-tone. Don't tell anybody, but I actually prefer the two-tone. Having owned the stainless, I can say that. The 16523 is the Zenith Movement 4030 pre-in-house 4130 Movement Rolex Daytona. Same size case, largely similar styling to the 116523 that came after it. There are some differences in the dials. The dial layout's actually different as well. By and large, 90% of the population can't tell these watches apart. So if we look at this beautiful example here, this can be yours for the very, very low price of $27,500. That's a lot of money. These watches, to be clear, have never been cheap. Um, however, if you're asking yourself, hey, it's a Rolex certified pre-owned, it comes you know, with the paperwork and I'm buying it from an authorized dealer, am I getting a good deal here? My answer to you is no. And why do I say no? Well, if we take a look at what's available currently on the eBay market, as an example, not saying to buy from eBay, uh, you can look at a multitude of other dealers, Chrono24, Real Wheel, Bob's Watches, pick your favorite. You can pick one of these 16523 up all day long, not certified pre-owned, hopefully in good shape, however, for under $14,000. As of the time that I'm actually making this video, there are quite a few that can be had for around $13,500, all prices in USD. That's a massive savings of $14,000. So you could actually buy one on eBay in a black dial and then buy another one in a white dial for the same price as buying this certified and pre-owned one from Rolex. But wait, there's more. Let's take a look at another one. So here's another watch that has been uh, quite famous for a while. I am still kicking myself for not buying one of these when these were $8,000 all day long on the used market. However, you can have this lovely example, which is for all appearances sake, it looks mint, uh, for $20,650. This is a watch that was retailing for about $8,000 not that long ago. Granted, I know they haven't sold anywhere near that for quite a while. However, what kind of a value is this watch, you ask yourself? Well, $20,000 sounds like a fair price. Not really. But if we look on the realreal.com, you will see you can pick up one today right now as the time of this video being made, again, not a plug for real, real for under $15,000, actually 14,595, something to that effect. So you can buy one of these and with the money you save, you can go buy yourself something else along with it. Maybe you wanna get a, a matching Cartier or an Omega Seamaster um, or I don't know, pick your flavor, a Bell & Ross, whatever you want, or go on a really nice vacation but you can buy the same watch, not certified pre-owned from Rolex, for $6,000 less. Well, let's take a look at another example. Ah, the classic DD41. I say classic, because this is not really a classic, it's a, a modern classic. 
beautiful watch. This one has the, the diamond dial, kind of cool. If you like that thing, I actually do, but I know it's not for everyone. Lovely affordable price of $14,400. I believe that's actually a little bit more than this would have retailed for a new, but feel free to correct me down below. Another great watch. This for most people is the size they want the day date and the date just these days, 36 mil, the traditional size. I say as I'm wearing my 36 millimeter president with the MLP dial, uh, I'm the minority, most people prefer the larger size. No hate, I respect that. This watch at $14,000 seems like a deal, perhaps, right? Again, just randomly looking on the website, realworld.com at the moment. I can pick up one of these right now for under $9,000, $8,895 roughly. So if you like what you see here, not a plug, not recommending you buy from them, you can go find one of these for <laughs> $5,000 less and you can get this one certified pre-owned. And as I mentioned, at the end of this video, I'll tell you actually to get the certified pre-owned watch at a discount. So bear with me on that. I have a way to play that game. But uh, again, $5,000 savings. You can do a lot with five grand. You can buy some more watches. I uh, would take a nice trip, do something nice for your, your significant other, right? Let's take a look at another example. As I said, I'm a traditionalist. I like the 36 millimeter size. So just for the sake of argument here, here is a lovely certified pre-owned date just 36 for the, the low, low price of $10,000, which is more than this watch retailed for new by actually quite a bit. And this one is on the Oyster bracelet. Most people, myself included, actually prefer it on the Jubilee. But again, nothing against 36. I love my 36 size. I've had multiple date just and date dates in 36. This to me is the classic proportion. But you say, $10,000, that sounds like a great deal. Well, if I look on eBay and I look on the real real right now, I can find multiples of this exact same watch with the 18K white gold bezel on the Oyster bracelet for well under 6,000. In fact, I found a couple for right around $5,000. So again, $4,000 plus savings. I think you could do a lot with this difference on that savings. And I actually have an idea for it when we get to how I think you can get a discount on your certified pre-owned. Last but not least, a watch that I'm somewhat tempted to pick up at some point, Rolex's most complicated modern watch, the Sky Dweller. It is a annual calendar, super cool mechanism. Did a review on it on the channel many years ago. Don't remember how to what I, what I titled it or how to find it, but if you are so brave, feel free to go check it out. Appreciate it. This lovely example is on sale for a low, low, low price of $23,950. It's on the two-tone. The most <clears throat> preferred model of this particular watch is actually a blue dial stainless. So this is in a configuration that is not the most reliable. But hey, it's only $24,000, right? Is this a good deal? Well, if you were to check out eBay, and again, not a plug for eBay, Corona 24, just check the internet. There are plenty of these from sellers that have decent feedback and with authenticity guarantees, take what you will with those, for under $16,000. In fact, I found a pair on eBay right now. I don't know the seller, this is not a recommendation to buy, for about $15,900. So we're talking about a savings of $8,000. Again, my question to you is, do you wanna buy this certified pre-owned or do you wanna buy one from a different source pocket seven or eight grand in savings that you can put towards tax and some other nice life experiences and maybe some more watches for the collection, I ask you. So I told you I'd explain how to get the Rolex certified pre-owned program experience for less. A lot of people want the certified pre-owned program for the sake of knowing it's been properly inspected and restored to as new condition by the Rolex uh, dealer network. There's a way you can do this for still less money than the Rolex experience. Here's my recommendation. Again, personal recommendation. Any of these watches you like, buy them outside the Rolex certified pre-owned network from a seller you trust, from a seller that has an actual storefront with good feedback that specializes in these kind of watches. Buy one in decent working shape. And then what you do is you immediately take it to a Rolex dealer and send it through their service program. And you can have the whole watch restored for far less than the difference you're going to pay, quite honestly, and buying it certified pre-owned from them. You're paying a convenience fee, a massive convenience fee to get it certified pre-owned. I'll give you a real world example. I had my Rolex Explore 2 Polar Dial serviced a few years ago. I intentionally asked them not to change my dial, not to change my sapphire crystal, and not to polish my case. I said, I just wanted a mechanical overhaul. 
They overhauled the entire movement. Out the door price was about $900. I'm sure with COVID inflation, it's gone up a bit. But let's just say you buy one of these watches that is like the Sky Door we talked about. It's more complex. It's gonna have a hyper service cost and it needs a lot of stuff done. Let's figure it costs you $2,000, $2,500 to put it right. Assuming you're not buying one that's been through a war, right? You are still way ahead of what you're going to be paying for for a certified pre-owned one. You picked it up at a discount. You're only paying taxes on the price of the watch you paid. You're not paying taxes on the full certified pre-owned price. And you're getting it freshly out of service. You know when it was serviced. You know what was done to it. I know, by the way, you're still getting a warranty card from Rolex that says it has a warranty on it. I believe currently they give you a two-year warranty for a Rolex in-house service. So that's how I'd play the game. If you want a certified pre-owned watch from Rolex, signed off by Rolex, but you want it at a discount, go find the watch you really want in good shape from a seller you trust, and then take it to a Rolex dealer. It's probably gonna take them a couple months to service it, but I think your time is worth that money. If you can save four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 by doing this yourself, go take a really nice vacation with your savings, be a little bit patient, get your watch back, freshly serviced with the same warranty that Rolex would have given you on a certified pre-owned watch. You're asking me, that's how I play the game. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you uh, enjoy the content, I am gonna make a little bit of a return to this YouTube thing. Please subscribe, share it with your friends, and always, as always, <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, ideas for upcoming videos, what would you like to see? I have quite a few ideas that I wanna get into, but this channel's not about me, it's about you. The only thing I'm gonna commit to is being no BS and uh, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about lifestyle and how a watch is gonna complete you and bring you emotional security in the world. But if you just want the no-nonsense take on stuff, appreciate you coming back. Catch you real soon. Have an awesome week. See you later.